Hi, I'm Danny Hester, bodybuilder, pro fitness trainer, and designer of fitness equipment. Today we're going to talk about how to spot someone correctly on a flat bench press. So, one of the reasons that you need to pay attention to spotting someone correctly, obviously, is to keep them safe. And the number one way to keep them safe is that you have to be focused on their rhythm. If you're not with their rhythm, when I say rhythm, is the person bringing the weight down and bringing it back up. They have a certain timing that they're comfortable with. And you have to watch their timing and be in unity with their timing. You can't do it yourself because it's going to screw them up. It, it, it'll throw them off of their focus. So just make sure a lot of people like just the lift off and they really don't like any hands on after that. And what you want to do is just read their rhythm and that's what you want to stay with. Anytime there's a slight pause, make sure that you don't let them pause too long. You want to assist them and just let them move the weight themselves. You don't want to be moving the weight too much at all because it's about them stressing their muscles. And so you want to make sure that they're getting the maximum stress on it and effort into their rep. That's where it counts. So if you're doing the weight, you're not doing them any justice. So you, you got to make sure that you're just following their flow. And they, if they want to do one or two more to push, then basically when they say that, that means they're asking for more assistance on those one or two reps because they wouldn't be able to do it without you. And that's the reason for a spotter also is so they can push the extra reps out. So you just got to be sure that it's within their flow and their, their timing as far as how fast or how slow they want it to go. And also you have to remember that you don't want to have a square stance because you're going to crowd them to be able to get a lot of strength out of it so that you're not falling over on them when you're standing um, in front of the bar over them. So you want a st uh, staggered stance, which is one foot in front of the other. That way you can get the foot way underneath the bar, but you can still have your body back and you can still have that leverage to use your whole core to help them lift the weight up if they get stuck, especially if they go heavy weight. Another good product that I like using is a product where you put it around your arms and it's a modified uh, bench press suit like they use in powerlifting, but it's not the whole suit. It's really cool. It's just an uh, uh, elastic strap that you put over each arm and as you bring your arms back to the bottom position of the bench, it stretches the uh, product and the product helps you spring back up. So it gives you that spot at the most crucial part is at the bottom. So when the product is stretching, it wants to help you get that little pop. And so you can control it yourself. And they make different flexibility as far as how thick the product is. They have different thicknesses. If you want to use it for heavy weights and there's not a lot of people around to help you, then you want to get the heavier one as far as thickness because it'll help you spring back more. So those are some of the tips for spotting a person on the bench press. I'm Danny Hester. You can find me at gflex.tv.